there is. It's me. Sweet. Let's listen to that bird song. It's wicked, isn't it? Dawn Let's chorus. Let's take that in. Oh, look, here we are. Oh, hello. Hey. hey. How many times have you been here? Uh, I haven't. That, that, you haven't been here? No. Oh, that's sad. Good day, dear people. So today, for Out and About, um, we're doing something a little bit different. A friend behind me, Matt, it's not going to confuse things at all. Did you wave? Are you waving? I just waved, yeah. There you go. I just, just got blinded by the <laughs> I know, I just looked at it as well. Yeah. Um, we've come out to a local woodland called Leewoods. Um, we're actually location scouting for an upcoming project of Matt's. But I'm taking it as an opportunity to wander around my local woodland and just look for any future wildlife locations myself. But potentially, potentially, Matt, what was seen here this time last year? On the 13th of May last year, there was a golden oriole seen thrice. Well, I think <laughs> thrice. I think it was seen. Is that more thrice than... orioles or a oriole thrice? A single oriole thrice. <laughs> a single oriole thrice. It was seen no, just over there, about 300 meters that way. 200. Me I don't. I'm not good at distances. <laughs> so, there are very cool things about. I can see a blue tit and some other birds, which are. Jumping about just in front of this amazing sunrise. Um, um, so yeah, we're uh, overlooking the famous suspension bridge, uh, which is quite a cool place to start in the morning, actually. Um, but the plan after this is to head into the Lee Woods and look for the location of Matt's future project, which should be pretty cool. I'll link his channel below. Um, hopefully we find somewhere cool and spot on for him. But so I'm just going to enjoy a walk around in the English countryside in springtime. Let's get to it. Make you feel. Alright, let it make <laughs> Is that what I did? <laughs> yeah, you're not. Uh, feel alive mate, us. the summer hat is here. That's what you want. The sun is coming. I need greens so much. Cause it brings some love for us. Can feel it in my head. The sun is coming So me and Matt were just walking along the path and we stumbled across this gorgeous section, absolutely gorgeous section of grass covered in dewdrops with just a few little bluebells popping up. And so we got down and started taking shots and oh, the light and the dew, it looks amazing. Um, I've actually been taking these macro shots with my, my telephoto lens. It's allowing me to get right back and get quite a lot of uh, bokeh. Cause together there's a better world I can feel it in my hands can feel it in your eyes I can feel it in your faces A change is starting The sun is coming <laughs> I've gone massively high with the shutter speed and then done the minus two and a third compensation. Yeah, so I've underexposed it. Damn, that's cool. I just want to try it. Try it, man. We can make the world So we've just driven down the road and come to another spot where hopefully the water is. But before we get there, Matt's been tempted by some light. Um, side note, we're actually deciding to vlog with two different cameras. I don't know if you'll notice the change in angle, um, but Matt's trying a new vlogging technique. It's going to make me very strong. <laughs> it's absolutely colossal. 
I let him up and the dogs were <laughs> <laughs> on <laughs> 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 Sorry, it's a very strange thing to see in the morning. <laughs> so Matt has just started explaining his project in his video. To understand fully what he's doing, you'll need to hop over there. Um, but in our wander down, I spotted in the distance a blanket of flowering wild garlic. It's beautiful. I'll see if I can get a slightly closer shot. It's just like white. It's I say it's a couple more days away from its full like colour and bloom. But Oh, that's going to be amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Everything there is all that white stuff. This is all going to be white. Oh, we definitely got to come back here. Anyway, let's catch Matt up. Oh, he's, he's looking a bit impatient. A bit. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we were, we were discussing wild garlic. I just... You right? We'd reached the spot where Matt wanted to make his challenge based video, but we had a dilemma. Pick the spot on the left that looked beautiful and would make for a great end product, or pick the spot on the right that looked much trickier, but in theory could produce a much more interesting video. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Off we go. We went with the spot on the right. As it turns out, I think it was the right choice. I offered to help him out by filming him attempting the challenge, though I think I was a little more relaxed than he was. <laughs> So as the challenge came to an end, we were just about to move off and photograph one more location when... Snapped the cradle that the mic sits in. Really should stop putting them on, on logs. So we were mucking around oh, with the macro and I spotted um, something quite cool. So I'm gonna try and mimic the wind. We've had a couple of goes and it was a bit aggressive. <laughs> can you do it from that side? Oh, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, no, I, I thought... All right, let's just have a I go. I can do it from above. Is. Yeah, above, yeah. So let's see if we can give it a go and see what it comes out like. Right. You ready? Three, two, one, go. I'll get progressively stronger. You're flashing into the shadows, Ooh. so... Go hard. <laughs> it's not quite like the other one, is it? No. I can go for a puff. Can I go for a puff? Yeah, go, go for a on, on, on that fat one, wait. Three. I'll just do one long blow that gets progressively bigger. I think do one, because then it'll release it all, it's the threshold. When you do that, it doesn't. It's a bit for the, although you're 180. Here we go. Three, you ready? Two, one. Let him the positive, let all the negative, let make yourself a better man. Cause together there's a better world I can feel it in my hands I can feel it in your eyes I can feel it in your faces Great change is starting The sun is coming So we spent the, we ended up getting the shot, which I'm really chuffed about. Didn't really see many animals, but I had a really good day photographing the wildflowers, which I was quite hopeful about. Um, there, this is definitely a location worth coming back to. I've, I've seen some spots that I definitely want to come back to and photograph stuff like deer and things like that. Really early morning starts. Matt may join me for a few of those. You know, the classic sit and wait job. Um, but as the day went, I suppose it was really good actually. I think I got two or three shots I was really happy with that I might end up posting or entering for cont competitions and things like that. So um, thank you for watching once again and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Oh and don't forget to check out Matt's video because it is uh, quite eventful and I'm really interested to see how it turns out and what you guys thought of it. Um, thank you for watching. See you again next time.